Good afternoon. I thought I'd come on for a minute and talk a little bit about Joshua Harris, Josh Harris. Now, some of you may know he was a longtime Christian, wrote some fairly successful books, was a pastor of a very large church, and he recently announced that he no longer considers himself to be a Christian. Well, as you can imagine, a lot of our Christian friends are really having a difficult time with this because uh, it's such a big change in his thinking and uh, they uh, are making videos about it, talking about it, having different kinds of reactions to it. Some of the people uh, have the predictable response of saying, you know, the guy never was a Christian anyway. Uh, if he was a Christian, then he would never uh, have this kind of change. And so uh, we know that uh, he never was a true Christian. He was just faking it the whole time. Because true Christians, well, they'd stay Christians forever. And they can't do what he's done. And I think this really um, kind of spooks all of our Christian friends because um, they start to understand that what has happened to him can happen to anyone. And uh, they may think that they are somehow different, they are somehow immune, that they will never doubt their ideas about uh, the gods or the devils or the demons or the angels or whatever supernatural things they're thinking about these days. But in fact, they can change their mind about it. And a lot of them are changing their minds about it. And a lot more will continue to change their minds about it. As the information technology uh, continues to improve and more information is out there, and these religious claims are continuously rebutted, religion is on the decline. And um, uh, the fact is that a lot of the people that you know today that call themselves Christians at this time next year will not. That's just the way it is. And some of them are going to be pastors. Some of them are going to be famous Christians. Some of them are going to be Christian leaders. And um, I think uh, it causes them to doubt their own beliefs, which is what it should do. Uh, because their uh, beliefs really are not uh, well-founded and uh, people are going to continue to uh, realize that and come to terms with it. So uh, consider this as you uh, go through your day and if you see things about Josh Harris, uh, Joshua Harris, um, just realize that uh, he's not the first, he's not the last, and uh, this is the uh, part of a very good trend that we're seeing. And uh, religion is dying, it should be dying, it's going to continue to die. It may not die all the way, but it is going to be reduced. The harm that it does is going to be reduced and people are going to wake up and live sane and uh, productive lives without it. Thanks for listening.